Some of the best bull riders in the world are making a stop right here in Jacksonville this weekend. Yeah, so the professional bull riders are taking over Veterans Vistar Memorial Arena. It's been transformed or will be for a special one night only show, which is tomorrow night. Melanie's joining us now live from inside the stadium. Mel, you're talking to one of the professional riders. I am, Jim, but you know, I told you about that 750 tons of dirt. Well, how do you keep floors clean when you have that much dirt? With saran wrap, we could all learn from this. So if you come into the dressing rooms, they're lined with this saran wrap so that when these guys leave and the dirt gets out of here, it won't leave a huge mess. But here is one of the dressing rooms and there is Brian Titman, who is a wonderful rider. He has been riding since he was three years old. I mean, this is really a lifestyle for you. It is an art and you guys are truly athletes. Yes, ma'am. I, that's all I've done since I was a little bit of a kid. I ever wanted to be cops and firefighters, and I just wanted to be a bull rider. Yeah, and your father, your grandfather did the same thing. So at three years old, what were you riding, and what was that experience like? I started off on sheep, worked my way to calf, steers, junior bulls, and worked my way up here. And you said you really didn't get on your first bull, um, you know, full hardcore until you were like 17 or 18. Yeah, your actual full-grown bull is about 17, 18 years old. Right, okay. So show me some of the equipment that you have because um, I think we're all kind of fascinated. Usually see these in movies, these chaps. Yeah, um, these chaps are just kind of dressy. They kind of, you know, they look at your legs and make you kind of, if a bull does step on you, you can kind of slide and give away. The same thing goes for your vest. This right here protects your main rib cage, all your organs and stuff like that. So if it does step on you, it kind of expands and slides away from you. Uh, you got your helmet here that protects your, your teeth. Everything's important mm -hmm. there with a pretty smile. Uh, your, your head, your brain, all that good stuff. It takes care of it. Anybody born after 93 has to wear this nowadays. Really? Yes, okay. ma'am. Because yeah, back in the day, like your dad didn't wear a helmet? Yeah, no, ma'am. It's just a cowboy hat back wow. in the day. But now anybody born after 93 has to wear has one. To. Okay. Uh, you have your spurs here. It's secondary grip. They're nice and dull. That way these athletes aren't getting in, like, in a bind or anything. Okay. So we're taking care of them as best we can. Is that to actually like for the bull to kind of get it? To just do... to catch an extra grip. So if you need oh, it, you're out of grip. shape and you okay. can kind of get in the hold. Uh, gotcha. And you have your bull rope here. This right here is what you hold on to. Okay. Uh, you wrap it around them, you hold on real tight, get someone to pull it for you and burn it. That's pretty much your necessary <laughs> stuff. That's all you got. You're out there, yes, you and the bull. Yes, all right. Um, yeah, talk about kind of the training for this because every weekend you can participate in shows. You get points, and then ultimately that's how you become the champion and rank. Yeah, we're at a new town every single weekend, so we see new cities and new people. Um, it's an awesome deal. You know, during the week I ride horses or we have a thing called a drop rail that I get on and go back and forth. I build my cardio. I lift a little bit of weight. It's not a whole lot, nothing too heavy, just to kind of stay toned. Yeah, okay, so we have video of you riding, um, so if we could pull that up, I'd love to see um, you in action. Um, why do you do it? I mean, you said this is your first love, and then Sunday through Thursday, you tend to the cattle at your house. Yes, ma'am, I, I do this because I love it. You know, it's something I've always wanted to be when I was a little bitty kid. It's been my dream, so I'm just living it the best way I can. The good Lord has a good plan for me, and I can't be more excited for it. I love it. You're so respectful, too. Like, just a good guy. Um, how long does this career last? Like, how old do you do you kind of retire from this industry? Uh, a lot of guys now, you know, the way sports med and all that is, it, you can recover it a lot easier than you used to. So it used to be a lot of smaller bracket, but I think now guys are moving into their 40s and still riding bulls. It's kind of crazy, but uh, sports med's come a long way and they're really doing a phenomenal job with us. So th what's the key? You said a few weights. What's the key to staying on that bull and really climbing the ranks? Uh, just building your core and staying in shape. If you can find that center point of gravity and find where you need to be at, it's like a dance. If you're dancing, everything's smooth and it's pretty. If it's not, you're stepping on each other's toes. Yeah, I, I love something else you said, Brian. He, he talked about it in terms of it's not you against the other competitors. It's you against that bull. Yes, man. They're athletes themselves. Yeah. We, I can't beat anybody else in this locker room if I don't ride my bull in the same way it goes for them. So we're all rooting each other on. We're all here for each other and pulling for each other. All right, Brian. I love it. Okay, so hey, if you all want to check them out, it is Saturday night here at the arena. It kicks off at 7 o'clock. You can get tickets as cheap as 15 bucks. Um, they do go up to 175 depending on if you want this VIP experience like I have with Brian. Um, I, I'd love it. I wish you luck. Um, we're going to – you're, you're going to let me wear your, some of your gear? Yeah, you all right. right now. Okay. All right. I'm going to, um, I'm going to get geared up because I want to see what this feels like coming up at 9 o'clock. Um, you know, Jen and Vic – you know, this isn't my first time. This is my first rodeo, Jen. <laughs> you remember, I actually got on the bull, Brian. This was many years ago. Um, yeah. Yeah. Never forget it. <laughs> Neither will I, Mel. <laughs> Can we see that again? Yes, we're, we I don't have remember that viewers. segment. You missed this. If this we can find that in the ago, archives and then reenact it. it. We're going to show. We're going to actually show you. We are. We're <laughs> very Melanie excited to see his, oh, his bride, Melanie Lawson, downtown riding one of these bulls. Is it going to happen? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so we are 
inside the arena, and I'm on top of Wolf Dog, and he's getting kind of rowdy down here. Wolf Dog. But we're friends. We are at peace with each other, and I think he might chill out a little bit. But clearly, I'm not the professional here. I'm the stand-in. We have Cody Tesh, who is a champion and knows how to ride this thing. Um, am I safe? Let's ask that first, because I have two babies at home. It's all in Mel's eyes. <laughs> Mel. That was so Jen, much fun I, with Tara Carroll. I was up against, also. like, the rails. I know. I really, I was nervous. I thought it might crush me. I mean, how much do they weigh? I think they weigh from 2,000 up. 2,000 2, pounds. And I'm like a spelt 135 over here. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But that, uh, <laughs> I'll never forget that moment. So kudos to you for doing the work that I Appreciate will never it. do. Well, and Mel, when we knew that this opportunity came up with the bull riding this weekend, we knew we had to send you. She's the best. <laughs> I, I'm ready. No bulls, no bulls yet, but... Um, it's going to be here going down. It's only one night, too. So imagine all the work they're going to have to do to get everything ready. Um, and then it's on to the next town. Mm. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Mel. I would like to see an encore performance. <laughs> I missed that one. That must have been back when I was working the evening shift. Oh, something tells me that's going to be on newsforjax.com later, later this morning. <laughs> we'll